All right, hey there, guys. Adrian Dacosta here, aka Jedi Bro 95. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In this video is going to be basically redoing, like, re-showing you guys how to make my point guard build uh, on NBA 2K21. Uh, I had a lot of people come over. I had a few people come over from Dignify uh, asking me, "Yo, how did you make this build? How did you uh, put it together?" You know. Like, and shit like that so I'll show you guys how to make that in this game and I'll also show you guys my animations that I use because I also had somebody ask me how do you what are your animations uh, so with that I'll just be real quick and just show you guys, just do this real quick for you guys so for the pie chart in question I chose this pie chart uh, Hall of Fame with Hall of Fame finishing and Hall of Fame playmaking I, I saw a couple of people say you should have made this one the reason I don't like this one is because well one, you don't get Hall of Fame playmaking, and I absolutely love Hall of Fame playmaking badges. And two, yeah, sure, you may not be able to, both builds may not be able to shoot, but, like, the thing is, like, look, the shooting on this build is just so much better to where you actually have a hell of a lot more of a chance to hit a jump shot on this one compared to this one. So, I would rather have uh, this, the Hall of Fame playmaking and some floor spacing ability than... Uh, Hall of Fame defense and personally I think Hall of Fame defensive badges is overrated uh, I don't really think you need to have Hall of Fame defensive badges to be a great defender in this game I think it just takes IQ and skill but anyways so moving on uh, for the physicals um, I went this physical pie chart the uber athletic with the speed and vertical uh, just to get that uh, just to be able to be able to get be really fast and dunk like crazy and now for the pot potential, uh, I maxed out everything in finishing and then put one on post hook just to get the 21 finishing. Now for shooting, I did only maxed out mid-range, free throw, th three-point shot, and free throw. I did not max out post fade because, like, sure, you get more badges, but I, I, I tried to go for the utmost amount of points uh, with, have like, the most amount of, like, good attribute points you know I didn't want to waste attribute points on things I'm not going to use and sure I might have put one on my post hook but honestly it's like one point to get an extra badge I'm, I'm cool with that and then playmaking uh, same thing as earlier maxed out everything and pass accuracy ball handle and post moves a uh, ball handle and then put one on post moves and then the rest to the basic defensive stats perimeter lateral def steal and defensive rebound uh, yeah, obviously, you'll leave with one point left. Uh, I just put it on my defensive rebound just to be able to max it out. So, this is the badge breakdown. So, it'll be 21, 9, 23, and 6. Uh, so, body type, uh, doesn't matter. I went built. And then I went 6 foot 5. I know Russ is listed at 6 foot 3. Uh, but I don't believe that. I've heard multiple reports and stories that he is actually 6 foot 5. So, I'm going to go with 6 foot 5 as my um, height. Weight, I left it at 200 pounds, although you can change it up a little bit if you so desire, but I left it at flat 200. And then the physicals, I knocked up the physicals just enough to be able to get, um, the, the, to, you know, to just barely get contact dunks off rip, just like this. So you don't weigh, you're not having to, you know, keep putting up your wingspan. Like, you could keep putting it up if you want to get better, st to get better defensive attributes and a better... Uh, dunk rating and shit, but your shooting takes a huge hit to the point where it's not even worth ma maxing out, so not even worth putting it up, in my opinion. Uh, but if that is your jam, go right ahead, because you still get the pro dribble moves, and you'll still be able to get contact dunks and stuff like that. So, this is a you decision, but me personally, I went this one here, uh, to have a 78 mid and a 66-3, so I, it, so I, 80, so at 99 overall, you would have a 78 mid-range and a 73 point shot. Uh, of course, knowing what we know now, obviously you could just do it this way. Uh, and then take over, again, I've said this a billion times on my build videos, but this is all subjective. It is completely up to you. So for takeover, I went playmaker just because that is uh, the play takeover I wanted to use this year. But with that, you see you have built a slashing playmaker. Uh, so with that being said guys, uh, I'll get to my animations real quick, uh, and with that, yeah, let's just get to my animations. Alright, and real quick, I'll show you guys my animations now that I'm in the neighborhood. So, move on, my player appearance, my animations. I'll just be real quick with these, because I don't want to take up too much time, because it probably is, like, approaching, like, seven minutes already. Um, so jump shots is, like, own custom jump shot. Uh, I could put this in another video if y'all really want to see it, uh, 
and then free throw, 22, athletic pull, athletic two for dribble pull up. Um, for dribble moves, uh, dribble style, LeBron James, moving crossover, pro eight, behind the back, pro three, spin, pro one, pro five, hezzy, D row signature size up, basic size up package, pro six, pro four, escape package, and dribble, th and number five, triple threat style. For dunks, Kyrie Irving and layups, Kyrie Irving layup, LeBron James and Russell Westbrook dunk package, I rotated these out just because I didn't buy that many. Um, back scratchers off one, back scratching rim hangs, fist pump, rim pulls, clutch reverses off one, switcheroos, and then windmill re windmill dunks, reverses off one in front, uh, and, then under ba and then the three under basket dunks. I don't really have specifically i'm not really like a flashy dunker and shit like that or like a power dunker to be truth be told i just go for dunks that are the least likely to be blocked honestly so these are the ones i just went with uh and then the alley-oops and the contact dunk packages uh and then i also did buy the um where the fuck are they the alley-oop packages for park as well so that's going to be my build and my animations for you guys. Um, for those of you that were wondering in the comment section after you guys watched Dignified's video. So let me know, guys, uh, if you guys did enjoy the video. And with that, I'm out.